But again, you guys like, some of you like to take off too many steps. Too many steps. So here, first of all, we should always do our reciprocal. Now we get our reciprocal. Now right away we notice I have a 9 on the top and I have a 9 on the bottom. They're going to cancel out. I have a 14 on the top, a 7 on the bottom. What's the greatest common factor? It's going to be 7, 1, and 2. Shh. Quiet. I'll wait. So now we have a to the fourth divided by a squared, which means 4 minus 2, so that becomes a 1 on the bottom. So we get 2a squared. 2a squared. Most of you got that one. Shh. That's over. Well, usually we would drop the over one part. Now, this one, a lot of you, they've got in trouble. One, you don't want to factor this. So first of all, 3 over y squared minus 4 times y minus 2 over 6. Actually, David, I think the second, the last one you showed me was right. Shh. Well, you only showed me about five different answers. So anyway, right here, this is the difference of 2 squares. Difference 2 squares which means this is y minus 2 times y plus 2. Some of you wanted to put y minus 2 times y minus 2. I saw a couple of that. That was your problem. There are difference of two squares. One has to be a minus. One is a plus. So when we do our simplification, this cancels that one. 3 becomes a 1. 6 becomes a 2. Remember, that's a 1 also. I get 1 over 2. Like that. Shh. Again, you got to factor. You got to factor. Factor all the parts first. Don't skip the test. You know how it's one half right there? You would always have to put the two in front of the thing. It's a, usually when we write it, we put, we put digits in front of the binomial like that. It's just a convention. You could have written it y plus 2 in the parentheses, then the 2. We have a question. You may have the same question. Yes. Do, so like, you know how four and two are the same? The four and two. Now, right here. So like when they don't, so when they don't like go together like that, we would always have to do an X and box thing. Yeah. Well, no. If you have like a quadratic, if you have a quad, yeah, quadratic, right. if you have a quadratic, you're going to do you're see if do you're going to do the the, bo the the diamond box thing. You have to factor them. In other words, you have to factor out everything. Even if it was, say, a, a 3y minus 12, you'd want to factor out that 3 first out in front to get rid of it. Okay, guys. So classwork. Now this is review work. Now we're working toward our CSTs here in a few weeks. Well, did you bring the chair in? Now, so this is due to the end of class. You should have plenty of time to get all of this done. There should be no reason not to get all these problems done. They have the sections. Shh. They have the sections by them where those particular problems come. You get stuck, you look at the problems. But you need to show your work. I got a lot of work last time where you wrote down a problem and an answer with no work. I need work. I need diamond boxes. I need arithmetic, things like that. Shh. But if you don't know how to do the work, David, you're gonna get you could get things wrong. Just because they don't do the work doesn't mean you're not doing the work. But see here, but see, you have this mistaken idea that you can do it any way you want to. 
Um, but see, I don't know if you got it right. See, I don't know if you got the answer the, from the book. You copied from the person next to you. Shh. Okay, David, instead of arguing with me, do it the way I want it. Otherwise, you just accept the points you get. This is your homework. The section, there's this section 2, 1, remember, by 3. So 2, 5, 2, 5, 8, so on every third one. And this is section 2, 3, work.